welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yeah. I have a question. Oh. If there was, and I mean, this is kind of a subject. So sensitive subject. Just warning. Okay. So if a so I'm gonna leave genders out of this. No, no. If a 31 year old person uh, and a 13 year old person had a baby together, <laughs> how much trouble do you think the 31 year old person would get in? In general, just with that story in general. I don't know, man. You're making you see the thing is is that I know there's some there's some some gray areas when it comes to the law, and I think that that should not be an acceptable relationship. I mean, obviously, and this has nothing, and obviously, spoiler, this has nothing to do with the laws. Okay, I so mean, it isn't like the, the age of consent in this place is thirteen. I mean, when you're talking about thirteen and thirty, you definitely should have something to do with the law. Okay, so. I don't see what a 13 and a 30 year old person have in common. Uh, nothing other than disgusting. Um, uh, it's a bit like a power dynamic. Like you look, you would look at them as like an, like a mom or dad or whoever. Right. Like, Ew. anyways, 31 year old woman yeah. convinces a 13 year old boy to have sex with her, gets pregnant, keeps the baby. Yeah. She is not going to jail at all. She plead pleaded out. Yeah. To, Whatever she pleaded to, yeah, supervised sexual predator yeah. probation, yeah, no jail, yeah. Do you think yeah. if it was a 31 year old man who got a 13 year old girl pregnant, <laughs> that would even be an option on the table? Uh, actually, yeah, um, they would plead down and not go to jail, yeah, really? actually. It, okay, see, now obviously, <laughs> you're not gonna hear a lot about about these cases, yeah. I mean, regardless, it's disgusting as hell, they should all be in trouble. I sure. agree, I yeah. agree, but there have been cases now. We, we talked about this honestly Did earlier we? in the week when you, when you found the story, you brought it up. And, uh, Did I already talk about this? Uh, no, I, th I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast necessarily. Oh, anyways, but, yeah. So. But regardless, there have been some cases where the male has been because if it's like if it's consensual, um, if the family knows about, it, there's a lot of things that go involved in into some of these cases. Now, me, my me, me myself, I still think that the decision making into starting a quote unquote relationship with someone that young is totally unacceptable. Um. And That's an eighteen year age gap. Yeah, it's disgusting. Even at even at okay, even at twenty five and forty three, still like what you got in common other than yeah. just like lust. Like they got a they they are attracted to old dudes and you like twenty five year old women. Yeah. Like, maybe, but what do you have in common? I feel like we maybe we did talk about this because I remember talking about like how in high school I remember like girls being picked up. By like, I remember being like a, a freshman, a sophomore in high school, and girls getting picked up by dudes who have been out of high school. Wait, for no, like no, two like because I would have definitely named one of the episodes something really kind of coy about it's you know. Like, but anyways, enough. but okay, wait, you've hold seen up. you've seen that kind of stuff happen. I do remember being in high, not like real old, but like I remember girls in high school that dude would pull up in his like Z Rock convert a C Rock Corvette with T tops, yeah. and she'd be like, yeah. "Hey." And he's like, what up, baby? And like, I'm like, didn't he graduate? Wasn't he a senior when we were in eighth grade? Yeah, well, you know. I mean, but that's not 18 years. It's not it's 31. Not, it's not, but, it's, you know. It's, Dude, if I saw a 30-year-old man picking up a 13-year-old girl at school, I would have, I would have, I would, as a 13-year-old boy, would have been like, hey, teacher, doesn't that seem weird to you? He kissed her on the doesn't lips when he, when he got in the car. <laughs> I can't tell if that's her dad or her boyfriend. Yeah. Oh wait, she doesn't kiss her dad like that. I hope. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. See, I've I've never really been one to to go after like younger girls like that. Uh, yeah, because you're not attracted to children. Uh, yeah. Plus, I have like an old lady fetish. Um, <laughs> you're like, if you ain't gray, you ain't for me. <laughs> Is that what your motto? <laughs> I was always the younger person in the relationship. Oh, really? No. Like I always, I, I always have dated younger girls, but not that younger. Like I'm talking like I like yeah. I, like the gir girls I've seen recently are in are like eight years younger than me. I think like wasn't there wasn't there a point in time? We're not even trying to flex. Just kind of give some some inf insight on our uh, on our past here. Well, wasn't there a time where me, you, and a, another friend were all dating like women who were significantly younger than us? 
Uh, it was still within seven years, though. It was definitely yeah, still within seven years. Yeah, because I remember years, talking but... to you. I was like, I was in my late 20s, and you were also in your late 20s, and we were dating girls in their early 20s. Yeah. So it wasn't like, it, it, it wasn't even eight years, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I don't remember if there was someone else in that, too. I know me and you for sure, because I said, yeah, I'm seeing this girl. She's like, whatever, what yeah, I remember the age yeah. gap was, six years. She was like 22 or something. Yeah, yeah, and you were yeah, like, yeah. dude, me too. I'm seeing yeah. a girl. She's 22, and, she, and you were 28 or 27 or whatever. Oh, man. But not anything like, <laughs> um, yeah, not anything like 18 or 13 and 31. Oh, I'm so glad I'm out of that relationship. I'm just <laughs> right I mean, now. a lot of times, like, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna front. Like, I mean, I think young chicks are attractive, like that are over 18, right? And uh, like, I would, I wouldn't date one and have a relationship. That's but, the thing but is, like, when you talk about dating, there's so much there. Mm -hmm. there's... I mean, you can have like an a younger girl or a younger guy and an old lady or an old guy can have a lusting relationship but there ain't no there ain't no like common interests you ain't going to like she's like you want to go to the college prom with me yeah. you're like no she want to come to my intramural game on saturday <laughs> no i don't sorry <laughs> my intramurals game yeah like i play an inner girl basketball on saturday oh my god i do not want to watch you play volleyball <laughs> i don't nobody does yeah i just like i don't know i don't know why when i saw that story it caught me so off guard like i couldn't even fathom that this woman would not spend a day in jail like yeah, i was like yeah. you should spend time in jail i mean yes okay uh, on paper it sounds that way if the court found it a different way then there's obviously some circumstances that we do not know about yeah but i just can't okay I like, mean, i'm not yes. a judge right like yeah. i have no judging I mean, I judge, but not yeah, in that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I just can't fathom a reasonable person is like, hey, the, the defense attorney comes up and he's like, listen, <laughs> we're going to plead down to whatever. We don't want her to spend one day in jail. How can any judge in their good conscience be like, you don't deserve at least one day in jail? I mean, granted, you deserve way more than that. But how can you just be like, oh, no time in jail? That sounds reasonable for that. I mean, are you, do you want me? Is this is See, now this can quickly divulge into something that we don't necessarily want it to be. You want me to list off the reasons of why a, per, a person could get away with having a, an underage No, I just don't understand how any judge, no matter, regardless of circumstance. <laughs> You're asking me that, then. Yeah, but... <laughs> Let's not get disgusting with it. I mean, I mean every, you are every, asking that. That's the question you're I want to know how a judge could do that. Give, I, give because like, okay. the law give, states that if these certain actions are met or certain... It, is that trust me, bro, or do you know that for a fact? I mean, that's the only reason. That's I the mean, only recourse. I mean, there has to be some loophole exactly. somewhere, right? Exactly. So if you want to discuss loopholes so you can have this a 13... This isn't even like Kentucky or West Virginia. It's like Colorado. It ain't it, like a state where... I'm Age just, consent was hey, look, 14 for a million years. I'm just, I don't want to talk loopholes so you can have a 13-year-old girlfriend. I'm not. That, that no, shut sense. up. No, it's just, dude, it's just. It's like, wild. how did he get away with it? You're taking notes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, I just, that. it blew my mind. Because I just figured if, like, if there, if it was reversed, I could not see any circumstance that, like, a dude would not go straight to jail. And he, then he would also get murdered in prison for All being right. a disgusting pig. I'll give you the one that came to mind immediately. Okay. Emancipation. Oh, like, like yes. the kid. But do they emancipate thirteen-year-olds? A hundred percent. The family. How is the hell can you do that? If the, if the family is unfit or the uh, yeah, but he would be more of an orphan. They wouldn't emancipate him. They put him in the can, foster uh, system. Uh, you can. Well, that's what emancipation is for. Yeah. Though. I'm just saying is that there's, it happens. There's that's number one. I'm not going to go over. I told you we're not going to yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go down the thing. I, dude. Oh, hold on. I don't. Now I don't even believe a 13 year old get emancipated. <laughs> I feel if a 13 year old is in an unfit home, CPS puts him in foster care. Bro, I never wanted to be emancipated at 13. I'll tell you that no, much. No, who wants to take. I don't want to take care of myself at, at my age now. <laughs> let alone it. But man, if I can move back home with my mom and not, she wouldn't drive me crazy and she like cook and pay my bills and shit i'd do it in a minute but i would lose my mind in four seconds in that house right wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if like you know you had like a, a, a mom <laughs> like yeah. i need a girlfriend and a mom not in, in the same person uh, oh like <laughs> yeah yeah like girlfriend and mom dude 
oh man, we're out of time, but I want, I, I read something the other day that it's, it's, uh, you know, that, and I'll, we'll touch on this real quick because we're going to go over time. So it says like, you know, like a lot of times people say, oh, when you're in a relationship, you, you stop having sex and blah, 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 blah. And there was, this was an argument that I've never heard of before. I've heard of like, when you usually, when you meet someone, you have a very individual life, you're doing whatever you want, whatever, you know, when you get into a relationship, people start getting enmeshed, people start like giving up things, you know, like getting yeah, yeah. comfortable, like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what ends up happening a lot of the times is like, if you're living together, the woman ends up taking care of you, not saying that it's right. So then she becomes almost like a mother figure to you. And if she's nurturing you, she doesn't want to bang you, dude, because you're, you're not like the, the hot, sexy oh. single that she met. She's like your goddamn mom. And then she's like, I'm nurturing you. I'm not attracted to you. And uh. I'm like, bro, that bl blew my mind. I was like, oh, well, I'm not attracted to women who try to mother me either because I'm not attracted to my mother. Well, Right. And it goes in reverse. Like, yeah, if you're letting someone mother you, you see them as like a mother. You don't see yeah. them as like. Your hot wife. So, yeah, I don't want that dynamic either. So, the women quit, guys quit letting it. Yeah, exactly. That's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> go right, to crazynow.com and subscribe for Jonas. Are we out?